Welcome to the CDK News segment. My name is Michael Levan, and today we're going to be talking about the AWS CDK V2 release, which comes with some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to take a look at the announcement, and then we're going to head over to VS Code, and we're going to learn how to create a new CDK app using Go. With that, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so here is the announcement. It came out April 30th, and as we can see, the AWS CDK or the Cloud Development Kit is now in version two, specifically for developer preview, and it offers two new capabilities for CDK users. The first one is, and this is what we're gonna check out in VS Code, which is really cool, it supports Go. So now, if you're a Go developer and you're working in AWS and you're like, I really wanna create some AWS services using Go, you can absolutely do that. This is really awesome. I'm excited about this. And I think a lot of people will be too. Go is definitely becoming a more prominent language and people are asking for it, so here it is. The second thing is, is that all stable constructs from the AWS construct library, which we can take a look at here, are now available in a single separate package, which makes this obviously way easier to use for CDK and keeping it up to date with the newest versions. Because, you know, having to constantly go through, update everything, it's obviously a hassle. So if we go ahead and we look at this AWS reference here, we can see that the construct library is organized into several modules, but in this case, you're not gonna be able to update all of the constructs in one. So let's head over to VS Code really quick and take a look at Go in the CDK. So I'm at VS Code here, and I'm just gonna create a new directory. I'm gonna name it test just for now, and then I'm gonna CD into test. At this point, I'm gonna run CDK init app, and then I'm gonna specify my language here, and I'm gonna say go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit enter there, and boom, just like that, if I open up my test directory here, we can see some CDK goodness written in Go. Now, not only that, but this is actually really cool as well. Not only do they give us our main package for our Go application, which is just called test here, but they also give us a predefined test, which is really, really awesome. So if you're into Go, make sure that you install the AWS CDK for Go and then go ahead and get started.